Hey, what's up guys, Jamie Fenn here, and today I'm going to show you this photo film effect that you may have not heard of yet. So let's start off with what type of equipment you will need in order to do this effect. First, you will need a camera that you can adjust the shutter speed. Also, you'll need a camera that has a continuous shooting option. Depending on your shooting conditions, you will need an ND filter. Okay, so now let's talk about camera settings. First, you'll wanna put your camera into manual mode. Then go into your camera and turn on the continuous shooting option. For this specific effect, you wanna put it on the highest setting that your camera has to offer. The next thing you'll wanna do is turn down your camera's shutter speed to about one over eight or even one over 15, depending on how strong of the effect that you want to create. Now, depending on if you're shooting outside in bright midday or if you're inside in a studio environment where you can control the lighting, you will need to make the decision for yourself on how to expose your camera to get this effect to look proper. You don't want to overexpose it and having your shutter speed that slow will allow more light to hit the sensor. So that's why having an ND filter will help. Now you can also close your aperture down to get proper exposure, but it just depends on how much depth of field you want. I usually keep my aperture at 2.8. Also make sure to just not have your camera on auto white balance because we don't want any color shift during this process. And then what I do also is leave my ISO on auto. That way it kind of just fluctuates as you're taking the photos. And last but not least, all you have to do is point your camera at the subject, hold that button down and just take a bunch of photos essentially. Now, since you have your shutter speed so slow, any movement that you do with the camera or any movement that your subject does will create a bunch of motion blur. So just keep that in mind when you are doing this effect. From my experience, what you will wanna do is point the camera at your subject and hold it there for a couple seconds just because when you go to edit this in post, it's gonna go by really quickly because you'll be working in a 24 frames per second project. And since you're not shooting at 24 frames a second, the camera footage will feel very sped up. So just make sure to point the camera at the subject while you're just snapping those photos away. Now, there are some effects that you can do in post that you can manipulate the video how you want it and I'll do a quick little tutorial on that right now. Okay, so in order to actually get a video clip of the photos that you took, what you'll want to do is download a program called Adobe DNG Converter. This program is free. You can just type it into Google. I'll drop a link down in the description for it. But basically what this will do is convert your photos into DNG files, which DaVinci Resolve can see. That way you can edit the raw photos in DaVinci Resolve and you don't have to worry about working with JPEGs, and you'll have a little bit more flexibility in post as far as color correction goes. So once you select the folder of where the photos are and select the folder of where you want the converted photos to go, what you would do is just click convert and wait for that to convert. Then what you'd wanna do is take that folder and basically just drag it into DaVinci Resolve, and then once you drag it in, DaVinci Resolve will actually read it as a video file. So as you can see, this is at 24 frames per second. And obviously it's really fast since we were only shooting about 10 frames a second. So what we'll wanna do first is right click on the clip and select retime controls. So depending on your clip and how fast your shutter speed is, you will have to kind of adjust this to your own personal taste. Now for this specific clip, I'm gonna try 50% just to see what it looks like. Now, this is a really cool effect just on its own. You don't even have to do any effects. But if you wanna get that molding together kind of look, what you can do is very simple. What you'll wanna do is click on that clip and come over here to where it says retime and scaling. Once you double click on retime and scaling, make sure it's turned on, just toggle this little red tab on. And then under where it says retime process, go ahead and click on project settings and select optical flow. Now this effect just alone with the retime process of optical flow is cool. It kind of creates like this kind of thing going on here. Sometimes what happens when you slow down the clip and you have these frames that are super slow. I don't know if it's a glitch in DaVinci Resolve or if it's just how DaVinci Resolve interprets this footage, but sometimes you get like this flashing look. It's kind of cool. But here on this clip, you can see that there isn't really a flash here. There's nothing crazy. So it, I think it just depends on like the specific clip and how slow it is. So the next step to kind of get more of a conforming molding look to the clip under the motion estimation, go ahead and select speed warp or enhanced better. These two options were great. Now, if you select speed warp, it's actually the most advanced algorithm on how DaVinci Resolve is interpreting the footage. And it will take a little bit of time for your machine to render it out, depending on how fast your computer is. Now I slowed the second clip down to about 10%. So it's going really slow, but you get some really cool conforming effects 
and you kind of get like a dreamy look when you do this. So like I said, depending on how slow your clip is and depending if it's just a glitch or not, sometimes you'll get this flashing effect. I have that glitchy thing going on and then here's at 10% and it looks really cool. I think it looks like a really cool morphing kind of look. So if you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and check out these videos here. I think you guys will really enjoy them and thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next video.